Hello everyone and happy National Library Week. My name is Olivia Jessup and I'm with the Mount Airy Public Library. We've been asked to do book talks this week and I'm sure you've seen some of my coworkers. They have done excellent jobs with their books. Um, I decided to do a book that was very near and dear to me. Um, I'm sure it won't be any surprise if you know me. Um, the Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Uh, it's a young adult novel that we have at the library. I know we're closed right now, but it is also available online through the OverDrive uh, website or the Libby app if you have it on your phone. You can access that with your library card number and your PIN number. Um, last I checked, this book was available. So this book, um, it's historical fiction. It takes place during um, Nazi Germany, World War II, the Holocaust, so it is a little bit dark. Um, uh, very interestingly, the entire book is narrated by death, um, and it's him meeting this young girl named Liesel. Um, he meets her uh, multiple times throughout the story, um, and he sort of gets filled in um, each time, and, and at the end he kind of is able to tell her whole story over. Um, the first time he meets her, um, her and her brother, they are on their way to uh, a new family because their mother cannot take care of them. Their father has passed away. And on the way there, um, the brother is sick and he also passes and Lisa and her mother have to, uh, to bury him. And as they're standing by the graveside, so you'll see something down in the snow, and it's this little book called The Gravedigger's Handbook, and she takes it with her. Um, and of course, this becomes very important. Um, Death, being there for her brother, sees her and sees her do this, and um, you know doesn't think anything of it at the time, but again, he keeps meeting her and kind of gathers her story each time. Um, so it's very interesting to see his point of view on things, especially during something um, so sad um, as World War II, where there was a lot of a lot of death. Um, that said, I know this is it is a sad story. I won't sugarcoat that. Um, I think it's also very comforting and very thoughtful. Um, honestly, this book made me very comfortable with. Um, the fact that death is a natural thing, um, even during unnatural circumstances like war, um, it sort of it sort of brought a sort of peace to me. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, and it's not all, you know, sad and doom and gloom. There's um, a lot of funny moments. I think kind of a dry humor. A lot of sweet moments. There's a there's a movie of this. Um, I actually haven't seen it, um, but I've heard good things about it. So um, you tell me if it's if it's good. I could watch it during all of this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna read the first little bit to you guys. Um, it's called Death and Chocolate. First the colors, then the humans. That's usually how I see things. Or at least, how I try. Here is a small fact. You are going to die. I am, in all truthfulness, attempting to be cheerful about this whole topic, though most people find themselves hindered in believing me, no matter my protestations. Please trust me. I most definitely can be cheerful. I can be amiable, agreeable, affable. And that's only the A's. Just don't ask me to be nice. Nice has nothing to do with me. Um... So Death sort of has a little bit of a sense of humor. Um, he, he I, I, I'm just amazed at, uh, at Zuzak's ability um, to sort of juggle these heavy topics with, um, with other themes of you know, growing up, Liesl is young. Um, so you're sort of seeing normal life in the midst of the war. Um, it's just, I, I cannot speak highly enough of this book. Um, 
would highly recommend you guys check it out um, either online or when we reopen I will be glad to run down to the young adult section and grab it for you and if we don't have it I will gladly put it on order for you because I want everyone to read this book if they are interested um, and to tell me what they think about it um, if you guys have any book recommendations for me <coughs> excuse me knowing what I like and um, things like that or if you just have another book that you're very passionate about please please leave it down below I think it would be super interesting to hear from you guys and uh, I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your week